up in the second week of June is just you know, something we've got to really keep in mind in years uh, years ahead because that's when it really gets hard to play. But um, it's been a good season. Um, it's the rainiest season we've had mm-hmm. in a while. Um, moving on to summer of fun events, uh, you know, uh, our first event was that touch a truck we had to cancel um, the night before because the threat of rain uh, it did rain but with so many different individuals and organizations bringing a lot of different vehicles from yeah. all over um, we didn't want to have to scramble that morning to try to cancel if we had to and we didn't want to um, have this event and it not be all it could be. We want it because this is when we when we reschedule it, do it again, which we will. Um, it's going to be a cool event. And I didn't want it to. I didn't want the weather to, you know, prevent people from coming out because we have a lot of cool vehicles mm-hmm. lined up and they'll they'll come back, but um, we'll pick a better weekend. Try it again. Uh, that'll give us something to look forward to in the fall. We're thinking sometime in September, October, we'll that try again. Time to do it and that's your driest part of the season. It is. Too. Yeah. Um, so we'll we'll definitely do that again. We were so excited for that because again, the list of vehicles and things we had was just really cool. Um, we had our golf clinic. Uh, thank you, Trey. We had eight signed up for that, which is about what we had last year. Um, so you know, those kids that participated got a lot of personal attention and really enjoyed it. So I'm sure we'll keep doing that. Uh, we had disc golf this past Saturday. <coughs> um, had 21, I believe, signed up for that, which is an increase from what we had last year. Good, good turnout. Um, for a little tournament that you know doesn't really offer much in the way of prizes. A lot of these disc golfers play in tournaments for cash, and we give a T-shirt, um, <laughs> but they still come out and have a good time. It's um, summer of fun. Uh, I don't know if anybody come out to the park Friday night, but it was packed. We had um, Zach Elkins playing at the stage. We estimate somewhere between around 150 to 200 people there for for the concert. Um, we also had ball games going on. Mm-hmm. And we had our first Moonlight Swim of the season. We had 278 coming to the Moonlight uh-huh. Swim in a three-hour period. Um, so it was, uh, the, 
park was absolutely hot Friday night. Um, it was a fun night to be in the park. And I think Moonlight Swims are going to be, you know, staple. a staple. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, it's tough. It's just a lot. It's a crowd. It yeah. takes a lot of staff because, you know, you got four lifeguard stands, <coughs> so, you know, on a normal busy day is what you need to cover the water. We have four in the stands, two roaming the sides, people at the gate, people in the first aid room. I mean, it, it takes a full load of staff, but um, it's, it's worth it as a service to offer, but that is the one, you know, event program that we have at that pool that actually makes a little money. Um, every time that pool's open, it, it loses money, and that's, we expect that, but that's that's the opportunity we have to kind of try to Thanks. inch back ahead a little bit. That's going to be every Friday night, right? Every Friday night. <coughs> this Friday. Well, this like, Friday. Be great, oh, yeah. Yeah. This oh, Friday. So well. Yeah. And yeah, I'd rather be up one other Friday, I believe, <laughs> maybe in July, um, we're having karaoke. I'm going to yeah. not swim. Um, so hopefully that will the you know, weather will stay true. Um, mm -hmm. um, Aquafits has started back. Uh, we got Neil Ewing who's been doing our fitness classes. Um, he's doing our Aquafit, and we're having 10 to 15 per class. It's Tuesday evenings and Saturday mornings. Um, that's that's where people love that. <coughs> it's um, it's good for all ages, all abilities. Um, not high intensity, uh, very just therapeutic and you know, easy to exercise in the water. But uh, our, our yoga in the park started this past Saturday. I think we had eight show up for that, which is a good little turnout. Um, it's at Crockett Spring Park. Uh, we wanted to find a more peaceful place to do the yoga and it worked out really well um, and then the moving you fitness is still going uh, we added Thursdays about a month or so ago but now that he's picked up aquafit two days a week he's, we're just going to do Mondays with the um, with the moving you so it's we got a lot of, a lot of fitness stuff going on um, at the pool, moving on. Um, this, is, this is my third summer. This is the best start we've had um, as far as attendance, just general admission attendance. Um, we're having two, 200-ish a lot of days. Yesterday was slow, it was a little cool yesterday, but overall, you know, our daily attendance numbers is the best that it's been in three years. Last year, we didn't open until like June 3rd or 4th because it was unseasonably cold. Like Memorial Day weekend, yeah, it was, was frigid. Uh, water temps of like 70 degrees and we just knew nobody was coming to the pool those days. Um, I think the day we opened, it was 78 or 9. We're already up to 83. So um, we've, we've started strong. Um, our private party rentals, I think we've only got like eight days left this summer that's still available. They, they booked up very quickly. And that's, I mean, that's, we were available about every night. That we, <coughs> you know, Friday nights are off the books now for us. There's a three swim meets <coughs> and, uh, every night of this summer is available to rent and, and they're all booked except for like, like said, eight to ten are still still open um, uh, next up is as far as our athletic programs is flag football um, and cheer we'll start registering for that middle of next month, middle of July. Um, practices start mid, mid, maybe like the third week of August.
practiced. We practiced for about three weeks. Start games in early September and finish the season. And we try to be finished by fall break. Sometimes we have to take a break for fall break and then finish that next mm -hmm. week, just depending on the weather. But um, we are moving right along through summer, right into fall. Um, it's going well. Um, and grant business, grant updates. Um, I'm excited to formally tell you all that we, uh, we applied for another grant. Um, it's called the Play On Initiative. It's uh, I told you a little bit about it last uh, last month. It's through uh, Game Time and Cunningham Recreation, who's a playground company, basically. Um, what they've we, we were awarded the grant. Um, what that does is have one or two piece like big structures that that we purchased by the end of this year. They match 100%. Um, we can use funding that we've already earmarked in our LPRF grant that we was awarded for playground improvements to purchase this. So it's not going to cost the city any extra. All it's going to do is get us extra playground equipment. Um, um, and I've got a. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be sending you, Jeff, a, um, some information about it, press release type, uh, just telling you what it's about. But, um, <coughs> what it does is turns us into a national demonstration site for playgrounds. Um, and we'll have a sign that's got a little QR code that uh, people can scan and take a quick survey when they're at the park to, that tells you know and it's an anonymous uh, but it just gives you some data on how often it's being used who's using it how much it's being used um, how they like it and it'll help kind of we get reports every so often about you know how many people's actually using this playground um, the playground itself is designed to meet certain uh, specifications for um, child development and you know, how important um, play is in development. So um, the design of the playground is based off of scientific data and research, you know, what kind of type of components meet certain uh, things. So. so will they help you with designing? They have. Um, they helped design the, what, you know, what, the design that I used for the application. Um, they helped me kind of pick out. I was like, here, I want to check all these boxes. I don't know. Uh, no, I, don't, I should probably send you all a picture of kind of what we've designed. And, um, actually, if you go on the Tennessee Recreation and Parks Association page. They, they announced it a week or so ago, all the cities that were awarded this. And for some reason, ours was the only one that had the design in the <laughs> post, but it's really, really neat. Um, it's something very unique. You know, the other big structures that we have in the park, there's one beside the Caterpillar, there's one up near the flagpole, and there's one up behind field two that's Older as can be, that mm -hmm. will get replaced eventually. Um, but they all have the same components. They got a slide, they got monkey bar type <clears throat> climbing, um, they got a tube to crawl in. So those boxes were checked. Um, so I kind of went a different route and wanted something that's unique and different than what we've already got. And it's got more of these net type. <clears throat> structure that you see now it's uh, more climbable more um, they're, they're, they're cable they're still cables coated in something uh, but it climbs up to like an observation deck and it still has a big slide um, we get new swings because um, the 
swings they have or they well out of compliance. Yes. <laughs> They're like 15 foot tall and the maximum height now for national playground safety standards I believe is eight no more than 10 feet high. Uh, so we're that whole main playground area is going to get transformed and uh, will be really nice and we'll have paved pathways to it from the parking lots, ADA accessible pathways um, and then once we get that we'll start just kind of piecing other components and building up around it. Where do you hope to get started on like, getting the first piece in? Well we've, we've got to have it purchased by the end of this calendar year. So by December 31st, yeah. we'll have our equipment purchased. And it'll probably get installed sometime this winter, but hopefully by spring next year, we'll have a new playground. Awesome. That's my hope. <coughs> now, things um, oftentimes take longer than we expect, but that's, yeah. that's kind of our plan right now. <coughs> um, with the LPRF grant, that's, that's building the concession stand and the bathrooms and the playground. Um, we've been meeting with the architect who's got to do the designs of the bathrooms. Uh, just uh, in the last week, I got preliminary floor plans for the layout of the concession stand and the bathrooms associated with it. Um, and the bathroom building that's going to go up <clears throat> near the stage. I've got preliminary floor plans for that. So this week I'll go up and kind of stake off and just eyeball, make sure it's, you know, going to fit. And, um, the bathroom building up there doesn't concern me, but the concession stand, it's, it's got to fit just right. It's in a tight little narrow alleyway between two boxes. <coughs> so. Um, we're going to have enough room to get around it in a paved path and to not be too close to the outfield fences of either field on either side. Um, yeah, things, things are moving on that. <coughs> um, but I, I don't have a timeline, but we're still a few months out from probably finalizing the, the plans and being ready to go out for construction bins. Um, the survey that we've had done um, to work on all these things has been completed. Um, I've not received my copy yet, but Joe has, our, our civil engineer. Uh, so he's kind of been working on site plans and grading plans to, you know, to widen that road and pave it build that sidewalk that we wanted to do. Um, been working on the pickleball courts and re trying to resurface it. Uh, handicap parking spaces we're going to have to build for certain aspects <coughs> in certain areas. You know, we might just have to restrap in certain areas for a couple of others because um, everything we do has to be handicap accessible from the parking lots. We might have to you know, designate new handicap spots to make their access easier um, to all these new facilities and amenities that we've got coming. New business. Only thing I uh, we last month we uh, got approved to solicit invitations to bids for a Ventrac tractor. Um, so tonight at the BMA May meeting they'll open the bids. We only got one bid for it. Um, it was the, the group that I had originally been working with to figure out if we if that's what we wanted. So. Um, see what they propose, but they're going to open those bids at the BMA meeting this evening. But, um, and that'll be exciting if we get approved to purchase it because we really need it. <coughs> and our, our current
current slope mower that we use to mow that big hill at the mm -hmm. flagpole. Um, it's, it's, it's so old, it's like 25 years old almost. Those, those, are, those ain't no. It's no, a Dewey's. It's a Dewey's or, Dewey's or obsolete. Um, it slid off into that pond multiple times. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. It's more of a liability. It is a liability. This thing, when he brought it out, it, it crawled all over that hillside. Sideways, up, down, backwards. I mean, yeah. it wasn't slipping off of nothing. Um, and the fact that it can do a thousand other things to it. But it mows really well. So we can, we can get a stump grinding attachment, field ball field grooming attachment, leaf blowing, park a lot blowing, front end loading. I mean, just it, well, anything it, you want. It's, 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 it's such it's a good. versatile piece of machinery. Um, be very handy. I'd like to make a motion to add an item to the agenda. I'd like to propose a motion to uh, increase Matthew's salary by $5,000. He's, in two and a half years, he's far exceeded any expectations I had. He's, we've got three grants in the last six months. I mean, in my opinion, it's well deserved. He did a great job. I mean, he's an outstanding yeah. job. Absolutely. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> you turned yeah. up yeah. from three huge grants. Yeah. 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 I mean, plus mm -hmm. all the others. Yeah. Some are fun. Yeah, but that's so, I mean, like, it's just, just an unbelievable job. Yeah. Um, I, well, thank you all. Um, it's, it's been my pleasure. And I, I we no doubt have worked hard. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I really appreciate it. And I, you know, I'm, I'm so happy here. We don't want you. We don't want you going. We don't think you will. You far exceeded anything that I would imagine. Yeah, would be where we would have came from. Ten years ago, you, you working with Smiley last week showed me how much you you're grooming in the right way. Everybody up there, uh, I'll second. Uh, yeah, you said you have something, but I, I want you to know from somebody, it's, it means a lot. You came in, took a lot of pride in it, and, and we love to have it. Literally, never want to eat again. Yeah, yeah. Or, mm -hmm. ever so long. My opinion, you're the best park record in East Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even well, in small you. town, you've done an outstanding job. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, to get three, I mean, yeah, to do what yeah. you've done, it's kind yeah. of You did more, it's much um, bigger. Yeah. It's it's exhausting at times, and we've we've strung ourselves kind of thin at times. Um, summers are really tough, but um, it is rewarding just the sense of accomplishment and being able to offer like looking all at West Friday and singing all the stuff. It's amazing. Yeah, on a just a normal Friday, Friday, Friday night, night. Um, and it's it's going to be packed like that quite often. I mean, um, summer fun is. Just getting started. We've got a lot of cool things coming up. Um, we've got <coughs> we just, we just talking about our movies. Remember, we got two movies uh, this summer. I'm not going to spoil it right now, but we got some good ideas for it. Um, I'm excited. Um, we've got another concert lined up. Appreciate you all. It's I enjoyed doing what I'm doing. Um, you, know, I just, well, you make it easy on us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. Like, yeah. Or we'll call it, or no, or, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, yeah. we've got a motion or second. I don't yeah. favor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> fantastic job. So is that like a recommendation to the board? No, it's uh, it's our side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank y'all. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>